Hello everybody, Ian, Starship Adventures, and today, a short video about a really useful piece of equipment for your ham shack. It's called Ham Dashboard, and this specific version of Ham Dashboard is by Steve, November 5, November Golf. And he, uh, it's currently being used by the Aries team over in uh, Brevard County, is, is what they're saying here. The Ham Dashboard is uh, is really cool there's so many of them out there and a lot of them come with very difficult setup uh, they show you a bunch of useless things and they're very uh not very useful and a lot of times not very customizable either and so what i wanted to do is find an alternative and i did it's called ham dashboard and this is it right here there's going to be a link to download ham dashboard in the uh, description below so just go to the description and you'll find a direct link where you can download a free copy uh, of this and there's a lot of neat things you can do with it and I'm going to tell you some of the neat things that I've done with it and you can see here I'm showing you a version of my ham dashboard this is basically the default uh, that comes with the uh, with the ham dashboard when you download it and it has your normal stuff like radars and some space weather stuff and things that are handy around the shack places where there's going to be severe weather and things like that but the neat thing about ham dashboard is it's completely customizable not just what's in each of the individual squares is customizable but what's even better than that is what is uh, uh what's set above them and also what's on the side tabs the useful side tabs all of it is completely customizable and that's that's really the cool part about this is you can make it whatever you want i started using it for broadcasting during hurricanes i literally go in and load all of the graphics for a particular hurricane i make a copy of the folder and i name it that hurricane and then i go in there and i put the graphics for that hurricane in the tracks the plots the models uh the forecast intensity uh the radar shots the the um satellite imagery all of it goes in there and then i can show my audience very easily what's going on and we can click into each one and discuss it so i'm not just using it as a, a, a wonderful tool in the ham shack for when i'm contesting or when i'm up on the radio but i'm actually using it as a broadcast tool in order to provide information in a clean format to you guys when you're watching our coverage of things like hurricanes and you'll see that i'm sure uh coming up soon when we start covering these storms that that will be forming soon now i'm going to show you how this works it's real simple you download the software as you can see here uh, there's a number of different files one of them has the opera logo that's because my default browser is opera this one will probably have your browser's default logo but the, if you double click on that it will bring up your browser and load your ham clock and then all you have to do is put it on the screen you want and hit the f11 key and make it full screen and that's it now you want to customize it so let's go back to that folder again and this time let's pull up the configuration file and let's do it in uh, notepad so that we can edit it once you're in notepad you can look and the first thing you want to do is the very first line you want to go ahead and edit and put in whatever is useful to you in that square there I have my call signs both for GMRS and ham radio and then after that uh, I have my maidenhead grid square um, the GMRS and the maidenhead grid square are two that I'm still working on memorizing sometimes so it's nice to have those at the ready you can actually use this spot for whatever you want if there's a certain piece of information you always want to appear there or you can put your name there or whatever you want then you go down and the first part of the text here that you see this whole first half of it i guess you would say is for the buttons and you can go in and change the buttons i actually changed one myself to go to my website and you can change the buttons to be whatever you want i don't use the buttons much but they're there and they're really cool and you can customize them 
as much as you want. Now, what's really useful for me is you go further down the page and the second half of the page, that's where you define every single thing that you want to appear in one of the grids on the screen. And there's two pieces of information for every grid. Now, let me caution you here. If you disturb one comma, one asterisk, one per in, uh, one bracket, nothing will work. It comes up a blank gray screen with a clock, I think. Um, I did this about 10 times while I was making my first couple of them. You need to be very, very careful to only change what's inside the quotes or what's inside the single quotes, whatever it is. Look for what's actually the part that you're supposed to change and only change that part. I lost a quotation somewhere and it took me 20 minutes to figure it out. I hate that. So just be very careful while you're in here and make sure uh, that you don't erase any parts that aren't supposed to be there and don't get any duplicates either. The brackets are very important. The commas are very important. Now, once you see there, you can see the name and you can see the link to the uh, image. Now, there's a lot of places where you can find these images. You can start by the ones that are on here. You can customize them for you. In other words, go to the link that's on there. Go to that website and you can probably find other links like it. Most of the National Hurricane Center and the National Weather Service, most of their graphics that they offer are auto-updating, meaning that the same file always has the latest forecast or the latest image loaded into it. That means that when your ham dashboard refreshes every two or three minutes, like it does, or five minutes, whatever it is, you're going to have the very latest information in every one of those windows, whether it be radar, satellite, uh, whether it be space weather, uh, or whatever it is, hurricane information. And so it's really neat how that works. But you have to go find the images. Now, you can, here's some other great places. Go to Mike's Weather page. Almost any image on the front of Mike's Weather page, you can right-click, copy, image, address, and paste it straight into here. You can do the same thing on Tropical Tidbits and uh, the, uh, the, what is it, the uh, Hurricane Nerds or whatever the other one is. Any of these sites that have an image where the image address is always the same, but it always has the new image loaded into it, most of them are like that. Any of those can be snippet and put in here, and now it's on your ham dashboard. And the other half of that side there is the name of it and I like to use all capital letters so that it stands out over the top of the map uh, and you can put whatever you want in there you can also put a space between the quotes and you'll it'll show blank sometimes the graphic I put in there for hurricanes gets covered up by the name and you can see what it is it's right on top so I just put a space there and delete the name uh, that the, that the uh, uh, ham dash puts in and just simply let it be as it is without anything on top of it. So it's really cool. You can use it for a lot of different things. And I, um, I strongly recommend getting this. Um, my ultimate plan is to have at least two or three large screens uh, that are dedicated to nothing but this. Um, and right now I put this up on screens when I need it. I put it up over here. I'll put it up over there. Um, eventually when we finish out the studio, I want to have these on big screens in the back and they're always going to be up and updated and, uh, it's going to be really cool. This is a really neat tool. It doesn't cost anything. And let me tell you something else you can do. You make a copy of that file folder before you start. Call it spare copy and now you've got it then you change go back to the other one and name it something else name it default and then make your default one you can make one for contesting you can make one for hurricane season you can make one for tornadoes where it will give you all the tornado information from around the country you can make one for uh, marine warnings I mean, you, 
you can literally customize this for whatever kind of warnings you need to have. Even your work may have images that auto update. Uh, th there may be other websites that you monitor, news websites and different kinds of websites where you would be able to go there and find an auto updating image and put it on your ham clock so that you would all, your, your, your ham dash as they call it, so you would always have it. And so there you go. There's so many cool things you can do with this. The main thing you have to remember is don't ever disturb any of the symbols or texts or anything else outside of the actual link or the actual text that you are changing. One slight change and you're screwed. If, you know, what you may want to do uh, is as you go, you can make a backup copy and that's not a bad idea. All right, and then if you want, you can then go take that Remember, we made that spare copy of everything, and you can copy that as many times as you want and rename it Hurricanes, and make a copy and rename it Space Weather, and then just go in and make each screen the way you want it for that event. What an amazing thing. It's lightweight, it's easy, it runs on older machines. Um, I, I know that it runs all the way back on XP. Um, and it runs all the way up on 11, so there's no issues with any compatibility. And so what a great thing. So in the description, I'll have the direct link where you can download it. Uh, try it out. It, like I said, it's absolutely free. It's called Ham Dash, uh, and it was written by Steve, N5NG. And uh, it's great. We appreciate it uh, that he made it for us. And you guys go check it out and, and see if you like it for your ham shack. Or it's just a great thing to put up when you're trying to monitor a number of things at one time. It may become quite useful for you. So check it out. My name's Ian. I hope this is useful for you. This is Starship Adventures with another little tip for your ham shack. I hope to see you on our next adventure or maybe down the log. Have a good one.